Welcome to my custom interloper run M9429 and here's what's in our backpack. Uh, we're underweight, 41 and a half. Uh, I think I'm going to craft those up. Uh, clothing's all good, 95, that's our lowest. Uh, we got a bunch of meat, we got a little bit of water. Um, we have a broken arrow. Let's break it down now. And hatchet set 100. We get a whole bunch of hooks. And there we go. We are day 252. And here's our skills. Fishing firearm. Uh, or rifle. Revolver. Those are the only three. And we're early morning, so... Hmm. I was kind of thinking about making arrows, but at the same time, you know what? Oh, I have that thing. We have 34. Let's not even bother. Let's just get going. And dessert. You're cooked. Uh... Are you? Nope. You know what? Whatever. Let's leave it. We have lots of meat. Ooh, wait. The bear is down, right? I know, the, the, the meat's a weird color, isn't it? It's a little more colorful than, than normal. There's the bear. Grab the feathers. Is there another one over here? No. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the forest. I'll grab some more birch bark. I'm good, copper. I am good. Thank you. Let's go grab some more birch bark. And we're going to head to Broken Railroad so we can get rid of this revolver. And I'm wondering, should we end up going back? What's the time? Yeah, it's still early. I think we'll go back to the community hall because we have uh, six liters of water that should be ready over there. Do that instead of boiling it ourselves. Alright, we have... we only have three, so I wanna... I wanna try and get a few. the birch bark. I think the wind is blowing it all away. There's one. Uh, what do we have for fire supplies? Ten sticks. Uh, okay. Let's take two more. Alright, I'm not doing a full scan. I'm just, like, I see one there. Um, we'll grab a bunch. Now that I'm not... Oh, look at that. Ooh. I don't know. That might be safe. From the bear. But it's not as easy getting up there as some of the other places might be. Alright. There's 
there's another. Oh, no, that wasn't one. I thought it was. It's just the, just the grass. And that might be it. Uh, what do we have? We have, uh, we have 13 birds jumping for joy. Can't have 13. There we go. There's number 14. Oh, dang it. I saw this one. Now we're right back to needing one more. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> uh, feathers, sure. Come on, give me one more so I can get out of here and don't put two in the same spot. Just give me one. There we go. Are you kidding me? Man, I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> it knows. It knows I do not want an uneven number. I want even. There we go. Let's just get out of here. You could have won by default. You could have. But with birch bark, you know I don't want that. All right, let's run. I don't want to lose too much condition. Uh, we'll get inside the barn and we'll craft up what we have. We have a fair amount. 18, so we got a boat. Well, not a boat. We have nine that we can make. You know what I really want to do? I want to go back to Sundered Pass. We're not going to go there now. But... I do kind of want to go back there. I like that region and I'm not playing obviously because of the, the little mishap I had with confusing my runs. I haven't played my stalker run and that was what I was doing in my stalker run was just hanging out in Sundered Pass and uh, checking the region. Trying to get accustomed to it. The thing is, if I go back, um, we're going to need those bear coats again. All right, let's get out of here. Mert's going to go back there at some point, too. Yeah, I, I miss... I miss playing my stalker run and just wandering around. I forget how many uh, days I was out there. I told you I was foolishly harvesting all the wolves that I was killing. So the timber wolves kept respawning. A lot quicker than they should have and 
I got to a point where I ran out of ammo. So I had to leave. And actually, I never did any of the tail when I was there. I was just too busy killing wolves. There was a lot. You don't have timber wolves. You still think that map is challenging. It's... I like that map. I, I mean, I think if you do it right, which is don't harvest all the wolves completely, <laughs> like me, uh, I'm just remembering, I just got a moose in there too. I got a moose, I got a bear, I got 152 timber wolves. That's only a slight exaggeration. Uh, halfway, let's go. Let's run. But yeah, I just think that's a really cool region. Uh, honestly, my only complaint about that region is that it's so far away. I just heard a wolf. <laughs> there's, there's who he was chasing. Okay, well that wolf is still down on the river, so we got a ways. Safe. All right, we have a whole bunch of meat here. Um, what condition are these bear coats? Sixty-eight and sixty-seven. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna take. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'll take four. Let's leave two here. Uh, and what are, what is, the temperature of those? Those are two point two. These are three. Let's put you there. Um. The one thing, oh man, if I take these, I have to go right back to the barn. Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to go right back to the barn and let's drop all these sticks. Except for one. We'll have to go to the barn. We'll have to repair them. Uh, our bow is at 94. Probably wouldn't hurt to take one of those. You know that? What's up? What else is in here? Matches. How much do I have? I have 33. I have plenty of matches. Uh... All right. if I can drop any of this gear. You can stay. You're you're warmer though, right? You're 1.6, you're 1.4 at 96. So you're you're 1.5 at best. And you're 2, I believe. I 
I want those ones. Uh, let's put these over here. Hey, OG, welcome in. How you doing, bud? Um, they're at 81. How much leather did I have on me? I only have two pieces. I think... Let's take two more. Actually, what do we have now? We have five, uh, four. Let's take two more. There we go. Now we have six. And we're fully warm. Let's go. You're just waking up, OG? I haven't seen you on seven, seven days to die. I looked for you. Uh-oh, now we're going to get a blizzard. This will slow us right down. Um... Yeah, so before... Uh, why did I want to go to Mountain Town? I don't know. Anyways, um, we're going to have to do a run over to Broken Railroad. So we can get rid of this revolver. Oh, right, right, right. The thermos in Mountain Town. That's what the reason was. That's what it was. Uh, if I was smart, hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna go right to Sundered Pass. I mean, that's a long journey, but. I guess Broken Railroad is kind of on the way there, right? That's why we grab the bear coats and those gauntlets. We want as much warmth as possible. And you know what I don't know? I don't know where I left the improvised crampons. I really hope I didn't have them in there. <laughs> Oh man, that would suck. Crampons are in Broken Railroad? Oh, nice. Okay, good. That's a good... I think that's a good spot for them. Because we kind of got to go right by Broken Railroad anyways. So, man, this wind. What is the wind? Well, technically, it's only minus two, but uh, if we get to this barn, we got to repair both of the bear coats. We'll just leave the expedition park is here. And if there's any time, I mean, it's, it would be nice to kind of get out of here. But if the weather has turned and it's a blizzard, and we got minus 24 on the wind now, uh, we always have that rifle book we can read.
I guess let's run. Let's try and get there before. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess it's a little too late to get there before we start losing condition, but we'll only lose a little touch of it. Nice copper. Good for you. Keep it up. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Mer doesn't have a word of the day. So he's gonna use his dictionary. Cured, cured, and I think it's just one gut each, right? No, oh, it's two. Okay, that's fine. I'll just pick up two more. Do that one. There we go. And I guess right here is a good spot for these. And those are both at 100, and that gives us plus 37. Um, eat two of these. Uh, actually, do I have, I don't have an extra one. Whatever, you know what, I'm not going to bother. I was thinking about drinking a birch bark, but what's the point, right? The amount of condition we've lost, we'll, we'll gain that back when we sleep. I'm taking that. Just because I want to make sure I have meat when I get uh, the mystery lake. Oh, the word of the day is maelstrom. There we go. Which means a restless, disori disordered, or tumultuous state of affairs. There we go. We're learning stuff. Kind of quiet now. I don't know how many times in the past I've ever gone from the barn to the exit. Usually I'm at the farmhouse. On occasion I'm over at the uh, community hall. I know how to get there though. I mean, we just go up ahead and hang a left. gonna worry about this wolf. We're just gonna bring him with us. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a new sound alert. I 
wonder if there's gonna be a deer. <laughs> I did it. I finally did it. <laughs> I think the purring spurred him on. He's like, oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's good. That one's got good length on it. It is a good one. Oh yeah, there's a deer. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's okay. Right? It's okay. I wasn't making something all nice and neat, but... We needed a test. Where were you? Two minutes ago. We got one bar of scent. Man, I'm telling you, coming out of this place now is a little bit different. Now that you got the bears back. You used to, for, for far too long, think like okay maybe a wolf but now now you gotta worry one bar of scent we might be attracting that bear and that's one of the things too with this game you could even if you know the route of a, like the, where the bear patrols, if you have scent, you might encounter them in a different spot. I didn't look. Okay, it's almost nighttime. I'm hoping not to encounter him at all. Cause I just want to get out of here. And one thing I don't want, I don't want to have these bear coats repaired and then instantly get attacked by something. Cause we had, I think three to double check. Okay, good. We had, uh, I believe three bear skins, bear hides. Uh, let's grab you. Now we're down to one. I wasn't really worried about accumulating them either, right? Uh, the uh, the deer skin boots was a little different situation, but. We have deer hides all over the place now, I believe. But we don't have bear hides everywhere. Alright, keep an eye out for this guy. Feels like plus six.
There's one advantage over these bear coats on great. Uh, why did he run? That was a little, he was a little far away to be running from my bear coats. They mean moose. There's no moose. There was no moose up there. I was more worried that maybe the bear was over there. Oh man. Seriously, what a difference bringing the bears back, fixing it, right? Because this area here, right here, is so, so, so sketchy. You got lumpy terrain where you can't really see. By the time you crest that hill, he could be 10 feet away. Smart path is to go up there between the trees. Alright, just want to make sure I got my bedroll. Okay, it's only those ones. I was a little worried. Let's do that. All right, I think we're all right. What? He's that way somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna follow him. That's just crazy talk. Those tracks are a little old though. Oh, I'm not far enough up. I don't, I, you know what, I, I don't like going up that way. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But it just seemed like it might have been a safer option. How can you tell they're old? They didn't look nice and crisp. Like they almost, they almost kind of resembled a wolf track, but bigger. Whereas the fresh ones, you can, when you see them, you know. But those ones for a second there, I was looking at them thinking, man, is it just like a wolf print with a glitch or something or what? Yeah, the, uh, the tracks do degrade over time. Um, I don't have a clue as to how long it takes for them to go away or how long it takes for them to change, but...
Just wondering if I'm going to sleep in the cave at the end. May as well, right? It's safe. You never have any difficulties going that way. I honestly, I used to always go up that way. And then for some reason I stopped. Uh, and I stopped long enough that I ended up forgetting the route, like where you had to actually go up. And now I remember where you kind of have to go up, but I don't know exactly where you have to go up. So. I think also there I wasn't, I was more focused on the bear and just kind of trying to keep an eye out. Because I, I wasn't afraid of the bear that he might attack us or anything. I just kind of wanted to, to get a visual on where he was. And I think that led me to attempt going up before or or, or too far down the, the little ledge. But yeah, I used to know. It used to be like a no-brainer as to how to get over there. Now it's I actually do have to put some thought into it. We snuggle with this guy. Uh, okay. I I thought I was way closer. I apologize. There it is. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Alright. It's looking like we're gonna just sleep in the dam. When I'm when I'm traveling somewhere, I kind of like to be as far, uh, get as far during the day as I can, which is why I didn't sleep in that cave, because it just means in the morning I have to waste some of our alertness just getting to the dam, right? The dreaded dam. That owl was loud. Knifeful logic. Murder voids entering the dam at night. Well, I'm not going to go through it. We'll just get inside and sleep in that, that first room. Because, yeah, it's, I mean, a, an Aurora can hit and you're... All of a sudden you go from being relatively safe to being in a fair amount of danger. Yep.
I should actually have my bow out just in case. That revolver makes it take a little bit longer. I got the one bar of scent, so if there is that wolf up ahead, I kind of would have expected, although the wind is quite calm. Hey, little bunny. I don't anticipate the wolf being out. I think we would have seen him by now. Because we smell delicious. Can't see nothing. The foggy night. There it is, coach. <laughs> Coach's favorite view. <laughs> Can't see nothing. I tried. Right there. What's our weight? Hey, our capacity is at 29 point, but it's also at 0.99, right? Doesn't count. It's not a 29. sound like happy music. Alright, I'm going to put the bow away because the likelihood that the wolf would be up here is slim and none. Although I have one time actually had the wolf up here when I was coming up. It's discovery music. You've had a wolf up here twice? Spooks you when he's up here, eh? Because you don't expect it. It's different when you're, like, if you're loaded with scent and coming down, it's a little different. You kind of expect that he might start making his way up. But when you're coming up, and he's already up here, you're like, what? And, and then you're like, why? Hey. Copper. Then you, you start wondering, like, why? Why? Why are you up here? That's your area down there. <laughs> yeah, laugh away, copper. Oh, guess what? I just remembered. 
Finally, I remembered something. When I got done with this ledge, we're gonna get hit with a boom headshot. I usually always forget. And I come around this corner and it hits me and then we're like, whoa. <laughs> There we go. First time in a while that that hasn't actually scared me. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Drop this bedroll and drop your attitude. Put that in your belly. Put that one in your belly too. And we'll drink up. Just because I remember doesn't mean it does, it's not going to happen. <laughs> now we've... Oh, man. Uh, let's just go. Let's just walk. And if we still have this nasty weather on the other side, then we'll stop and read. May as well travel through the dam while the weather's garbage, right? The fair amount of cloth in this building. I don't usually, uh, that, that one piece of cloth up at the top and maybe this one are the ones that I'll usually take down, but there is a fair amount having a look over on that body. No, that wasn't an unauthorized stretch. <laughs> that was just me adjusting my uh, position in my chair. And I, I, I don't like my chair. My chair sucks and I want to... Honestly, I want to go back to the place I bought it and I want to grab the salesman and I want to rub his face in my chair. What kind of salesman talks you out of buying a chair and into buying a chair that's like half of the price? That's like the opposite of what you're supposed to do as a salesman, isn't it? And I wish he wouldn't have. I wish he would have just let me buy the chair I wanted. So this chair sucks. And I can't justify to myself buying another chair because this one hasn't. I'm gonna do one more. I don't care. I haven't had this one. Nearly long enough. This isn't a gaming chair either. This is a... Uh, well, I wouldn't refer to this one as an executive's chair, but that's what I was looking at. And this is more like the secretary's chair. Yeah, he might have needed to, sale, to sell. Ooh, I forgot all about you. You're all just... Okay. Gonna pull you out. 
Yeah, I just, I, I wish he would have just let me purchase the one I wanted. There was actually two that were twice the price of this one. Weird. I thought I heard a bear sound over there. There can't be a bear over there. You know how many hours it would take to lure a bear to that area? Aww. It's a new family. Yay! We got two. Smart guy goes around that way and just leaves. <laughs> Not I. I will go this way. So I can find one more. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That is good, that is good. Oh, Murd wants to stretch now. Okay. Here we go. I should pull out the bow, though. Hey, Mert, I have a question for you. You have the same keyboard I have, right? What is it, the 915? I have an issue with mine. If I hit my tab button, but I hit the left side of the tab button, it just like locks it down. Like it just gets wedged. I wonder if that's a uh, specific just to mine or. This is probably the dumbest thing to do. Because now, I gotta go through that again. Yeah, so have, have you ever noticed that? Like when you push your tab button, it's only the tab button. It doesn't do it on any of my other ones. You have no dramas with the tab button. Well, dang it. May you rest in peace. I think we're gonna actually have a bunch of wolves. That's what I think. What's up there? That doesn't sound like the bear crows.
Yeah, it didn't really sound... It just sounded like regular crows. Uh, maybe a, maybe a wolf killed a deer? Now I'm curious. This time it's midday. It could just be, I think. I mean, maybe that's why we didn't encounter a wolf over here, right? We don't have visible scent, but. Maybe the wolf was chasing a deer and the deer ran up there and that's where he got him. I don't want to go up there just because a couple of reasons. It's going to waste a bunch of our time. Uh, there is a risk that maybe there's a bear in the area. There's wolves down there. And, you know, Glastridge, she'll break a couple of wrists, most likely, and ankles. I'm just wondering, I mean, I don't need to be carrying the arrowheads and the feathers. I mean, it's only 0.19, but uh, we're going to have nine when we break this arrow down. I'm kind of wondering, though, if we're, I mean, if we're going... If our, if our main goal, we have 33. If our destination is Sundered Pass. I kind of want as many arrows as I can have, right? We'll see. What do we got in here? Well, we have... Oh, and we have to... Look at you. Uh, I finished that book, didn't I? Drop you. Good enough. Uh, deer skin. Let's see what we got. Well, we have a whole bunch of those. Yeah, I totally forgot that that Bonds rifle was here. <laughs> that just makes everything harder. Uh, where is it? There it is. It's not loaded. Uh, and we have a red toolbox, so... Oh, wow, you're... Oh, man. Those are all maple. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, 21. We have nine. Do that. Wrong one. We'll take one flare. Um, now what I'm thinking is you. Regular bow. And stay here. What's our weight? Forty-seven fifty. Forty-seven fifty. But that's also because you know. Let's eat. Oh, 
Oh, we're, we're, we're out of meat already. Do I have water upstairs? No, I wouldn't have water upstairs. Uh, all my water stuff. Oh, I might. Oh, I do. I do, I do. Okay, well, what do we have? We only have one stick. I don't have any wood. Ooh. I don't really know why the hatchet's there. How's this knife? That's bad. What's in here? Um, you know what we can do? You can throw all these in there. Um, I'm going to keep that. I don't care. We'll keep these. We'll keep, uh, these two hooks, I guess. And we have a mag lens. Let's swap that. And there's nothing down there. Yeah. I don't know really why these are up. These are usually kept downstairs. Yeah, let's just take it all. I was thinking about doing what I did. You know what I always do. Boil water while we're out and about. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Any of you cooked? No, no. But yeah, we didn't have any wood to do so, and I wasn't going to use my coal. How much coal do I have anyway? Four. So now if we're in danger, we have to do this. <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, are you serious? my equipment. That didn't need to happen. Like, we don't even have scent. We have a half a kilogram of meat. Which to me is very little scent. I would think that our own body is putting off more scent than that. Maybe they joined up and they summoned the wolf. There's a bunch of meat at the, uh, the rail car, isn't there? I believe there is. I just don't think any of it's cooked. I'm kind of learning to leave meat all around, but what I haven't fully grasped is to make sure that there's always at least a couple of pieces that are cooked and if I take those I should cook some more but in my opinion it's way easier to say that than it is to do it you get there you need the meat but you don't really have the wood what are you gonna do
All right. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I, I do have some serious regrets about choosing the uh, the hunting lodge to store these guns. It's so far out of the way. So far. I don't think I would ever do that in the future. Even once the safe house customization comes in and um, I don't know. I think it'll I think it'll always be either the Mountaineers hut or the camp office. Mostly the camp office. The Mountaineers hut's just you know a favorite region, I guess. No bears. Hmm. Sounds like there's a bear over here. Maybe I'm just hearing things. But I thought I heard both. Uh, maybe I'm just paranoid. I thought I heard a bear and I thought I heard the crows in this direction. Uh, whatever that is, is way too far. I don't look at it. I think that's just a stump out there. Or maybe I have an invisible bear here like you did once. Oh, that would suck. That would suck. But hey, it's okay because you know what? They can't fix every bug. They put cheat death in there in case something like that happens to you. <laughs> Sorry. I just think that's one of the dumbest statements there is a bear. Yeah, I just thought that was one of the dumbest uh, statements ever. I didn't, I didn't mind them adding the cheat death, right? It was never something that I really wanted, but whatever. They added it. They did it. It's their game, and we're gonna use it. But to say that that's a that's an option for you. If their game screws up because they didn't do their job and fix their game. So you don't feel bad about yourself. <laughs> I think it's the, the dumbest thing I think I've ever heard. Even with cheat death, if your game screws me over and, and I die because your game broke, I'm reloading my save. I will use cheat death when I die. Not when your game messes up. What other game out there has a system like that where it's like, yeah, we didn't fix any of these bugs. But don't worry. If you lose your run because of one of our bugs, we have this system in place that'll take half of your 
stuff away from you. So you don't feel like you've cheated. <laughs> hey! Bad wolf. You heard me talking about his boss. Lay down. You heard roar, you got up a tree, fire to flare, heard him run, went to the rail car, passed an hour to save it, left the game reloaded, and ta-da, bear was visible. Oh, man. It kind of makes you wonder if they had just left the game as it was back then without splitting sur survival and story mode. Like how many of the... How many of these bugs are a direct result of that? Obviously when they release new stuff there's going to be bugs introduced, right? Happens every game. I don't know. One day this game will be great again. Right now it's just very good. I'm giving it a downgrade. From great to very good. But, at least it lets me play. Unlike Scum, I still can't get into Scum. I gave up trying. How do you... I mean, it's not even Scum's fault, right? It's, it's whoever makes easy anti-cheat. Why did you put the easy in that term? When it refuses to install on my computer. The only thing I haven't done in attempting to get it to install is is a, a reinstall of Windows, and I ain't doing that. Mostly because I don't even know how to. It just came on my computer. I don't have a disk. I don't have the information required. I don't get it. And the other problem is, with Scum, you can play single player. You don't have to play multiplayer. So why do I need easy anti-cheat to install? <laughs> Disk, good one. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, my my seat, my PC doesn't even have a disk drive. I had to buy one. Okay, thank you, coat. <laughs> my coats, I think, saved my hide right there. I'm trying to think if I have ever, I don't think I've ever in my life installed Windows. Right? So like, I don't even have a clue. How, how do you uninstall Windows completely and reinstall it? I don't even know. But I do know one thing, if, it, if, if, if that's something that's required to play your game, I ain't doing it because I don't know how to do it. And I'm not messing up my stuff over one game. The thing I have to try and remember is what other games do I have that may require that?
wonder if I can drop any of this gear. It's installed from a USB drive. It's really straightforward. You reinstall, you reinstall Windows every one to two years. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just going to keep my bow in my hands. But I will be very happy when we get to the <laughs> when we get to the hunting lodge and I can drop these guns and not have to worry about that. Windows gets cluttered and it'll get errors and nonsense, so wiping it and reinstalling it can speed it up and declutter it. Yeah, that all makes sense, I guess. Keep an eye on this spot here. smacking your lips for a lady. Let's do that. Uh, what's that? We'll put our weight 49. And then once we drop both of those guns, we'll be good. We don't have the crampons, so we have to look at that for our weight. Um, I'm wondering if I might want to make some pies, but I don't know that I have the ability out here. I think Pretty sure there's all the ingredients at the hunting lodge. When I get somewhere safe, can I show you my clothing warmth? Not your fault, Murd. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. The sun is setting. What are the odds of that? I thought, you know what? It's safe right here. I know you specifically said safe, but I wasn't expecting the wolf to come from up there. I thought I was safe. That's why I said that's not your fault. <laughs> now it's at 36. Oh, those... 
you're at 100, you're at 100. That's what I cared about the most. And a few choice words for that wolf. And, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Even if you're wearing the bear coat, it gives a chance to scare a wolf away. But I don't know that wearing two... I don't know that wearing two stacks. Because remember, the interior clothing doesn't... Uh, doesn't count, right? For the warmth and all that stuff. Oh, sorry. For all the other attributes. Which is kind of weird, because it does work for the warmth. But they only take the attributes of the exterior clothing. I'm warmer than you at the moment. How warm are you? Oh, this guy went running this way. I hope he drops right at the door. What was all my other clothing on? Oh, of course, the gloves. Of course. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might have got attacked by that wolf anyways. Even if I wasn't looking, just because of the... Just because of where he came from. In that area, my focus is usually straight ahead, not that way. You're at 34, if you were two bear coats, you'd be at 38 or 39. Come on, I'm angry. Angry at your kind. sleep here what I'm hoping I, I don't remember how much cloth I had here those are regular crampons where's the improvised oh I have two of you and I didn't need to bring a flare I have water. Alright. Uh, oh, and I don't think there's anything inside. Um, do that. Yeah, there goes my barrel. For sure. You're at 91. I'm going to keep you at that. We have seven of you. How's our bedroll? 88. Hmm. You're empty, right? No, you're full. Okay. Well, let's tear these up. We don't need these. I need to find a place to rest. 
They might be at the hub. Yeah, they'll do. They definitely will. I should actually probably pick them up too. I can turn you into three. I don't need those. Or do I? I'm not sure. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, is it gonna? I don't know if it'll let me make some uh, uh, arrow shafts. Let's put you out and see. We can only make three at most. Is it gonna stop us? Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. All right, let's go in there and we'll go to bed. And we'll make the arrow shafts in the morning. Um, eat you, I guess. Well. Remember when it seemed like I had a whole bunch of meat? Now I don't. It's just gone. And of course. Oh, come on. Let me add it. That's not fair. I know, I know the Aurora is pretty much over, but. I was kind of hoping that I could get the. You, where am I stuck on? 38 minutes. just reading chat there trying to and trying to think of whether I should do this or not I'm gonna do it because we're here because we have the toolbox all right sparkies are gone I'm not sure I can carry much more uh those bear coats were both at 100 still, right? Okay, you're 90, that's the worst. And I did pick up the crampons, okay. Yeah, so if the, uh, actually, you know what? Just to save weight, I'm gonna leave them here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take those ones with us and uh, I think you're right. I think I did leave the improvised ones at the uh, at the little train station, the little hub. And if that's the case, we'll grab those ones and leave these ones there. Cuz it does seem like that's a good spot for for them to be left at. And there's a fair bit better the improvised ones are than the regular ones.
trying to do this without and having to deal with the wolf. Where we're going, I don't want any unnecessary degradation. You wonder if this bear is still in magic glitchy mode. Yeah, no kidding, right? It would be cool to drop them right by the hunting lodge. Oh, I'm getting excited. So close to getting rid of these guns and their dead weight. Maybe a moose. Yeah, we don't need one though. A moose doesn't do anything for us, really. We don't need the hide. I mean, sure, we get a lot of meat. And we get a lot of guts, but we don't also use very many guts. Um, actually, no, don't do that. Drink that way, fool. Okay, let's go. I, I really think that the moose meat needs to be added to a recipe of some sort. Because I don't think the moose coat is worth it. I think if you're spending that amount of time, you may as well just make the bear coats. Because they scare off wolves. The moose is food and is great in your mind for long-term prepping. Yeah. That's true, but we have meat over. This is that. I didn't even look. No, we don't have meat there, do we? What the? I think in this region, I would rather just take down the bear. For, for my own personal thinking because up here the moose meat is kind of stuck up here. Unless we uh, use the sled. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. I really don't. Weather is sounding worse than it is. The wolves are just howling away. That's a real one. <laughs> run, Astrid, run! I can do this. Gotcha. No moose. Here. Put your bow away when you enter a house, lady. Uh, we have seven pieces of cloth. Uh, we have... Oh, damn it. Do that. Right click you. I get you. Right there. I'm not happy about this. I'm really not. I mean... Yeah. I w I'm not happy about the way 
it works out here. There's a forester. That's a regular. That's a regular. That's that. Let's move you right there. And then we'll put you up here. And you can go back right there a little bit. There we go. And did we have... We, I don't think we had any bullets. No, we didn't. Um... have that. We have you. You, you. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I gotta see what I can make. Um, first of all, what is here? We have one full kilogram. We have some of that. Then we have rabbit. And we have potatoes. Um, well, I guess, whoops, hey, 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 I guess that's the thing to make, right? The venison pie? Uh, yeah, I left the bullets somewhere else. I forget, actually, off uh, Timberwolf Mountain, was it? I believe. Um, add wood. And... Do that. Is that 45 minutes? Yeah, the ammo and noisemakers, I left them at the uh, Mountaineer's Hut. 54 minutes. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Mostly because I don't really know how long that's going to take. Uh, let's go through here. What else is there? Rabbit pie is carry capacity as well, but there's not. It's only 312. Which I guess isn't as... Yeah. What the stalkers do? Dumbest. Dumbest thing ever. I don't know. Dry house. Lily's pancakes. Acorn ground, so that's never gonna happen. And peaches, rose, yeah, whatever. I guess let's do that. Uh, can I make more? No, thank you. Uh, 19 minutes. There we go. And we'll drop these ingredients again. Yeah, some of those recipes, I just kind of wonder, like, what the... What is the purpose of that? Who is making a recipe that lowers your maximum carry capacity? Uh... I almost should have, you know what, if I was smart, I would have put that on there. Okay, we're ready, I think, to go, right? Um, 51%. I don't trust that bow. I really don't. Carry much more. All right, let's go. The stalker pies. 
Uh, great to keep at bases to eat at night before bed, but not for when you're on the move. Oh. Yeah, I guess so, right? Uh, that. Mm hmm. Here in the bear crows. Let's go before that wolf catches. Catches on to where we are. What was our water at? 498. That's good. What do the pies do? They do various different things. But these, the, the ones that I made specifically, they increase your carry capacity by three kilograms, which I don't know. I've, I've always said I'm not a fan of the recipes. I never wanted the game to add more food. And I find some of the re re some of the recipes to be frustrating, but that could just be a me thing. Um, there's one of the pies that gives you a headache, and I don't understand that. I, yeah. Yeah, the peach one. It makes no sense. Like, I don't get it. I've literally eaten an entire apple pie. I never had a headache afterwards. Maybe rose hips are different. I don't know. Maybe peaches are different. Hey, there's the bear. I don't know. But you know what, it's, I mean, Hinterland has to accommodate a wide range of people, right? There's some people, there's some people that want even more recipes, right? So, I mean, you try to make people happy. It's, it's a situation where, you know what, I don't like the recipes, I don't have to make them. Right? So, in most cases, I don't. And that's actually a good way to be uh, from a developer's standpoint. If you're adding something into the game that might be questionable, make sure that it's something that people don't have to do. And that's what the recipes in this game have done. We don't have to do it. And honestly, complaining about them is kind of pointless, to be honest. Um, I do, I do wish in terms of the recipes, though, I do wish that the moose was utilized in some fashion. I don't really understand why it wasn't. Uh, I better pick you up and... <laughs> That's the second time I thought I saw that and thought it was meat. Uh, what are we at? 46. Well, we're going to have to eat soon. Like, very soon. I don't really feel like eating one of the pies yet. And eh, it's pointless. Moose and cattails should be used in some recipes. What would you make with a cattail, though? Well, I got 29 cattails, so it's not like I'm leaving without food. 
I can put that away though, right? Because I forgot. I don't. I don't have those guns on me anymore. Uh, let's just sit in here and we'll eat some cattails while we. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the the roots are the part that's the edible, or maybe the stems. I I don't know. I'm not a survivalist. I just know don't don't bite the top part. <laughs> you will regret your decision. Cattails would be used. Let's go this way. To make a veg stew with potatoes, carrots, maybe rose hips, and make an MRE ultimate meal. What about the mushrooms? As a mushroom hater, I'm still gonna say, it. I mean, they're in the game. How come, are they in any of the recipes? No. Mushrooms are evil. They are. They're disgusting. But. But. They are in one or two of the recipes. Oh, okay. I actually kind of thought they might have been. But I wasn't entirely sure. Sorry, bunny. Just walk right over that dead body. There's one of the batteries we never broke down. <laughs> wow, so many batteries in this run. And the long walk has truly begun. I know, right? Hey, everybody, if you haven't seen this part before us, we're going somewhere far. And, you know, they they stressed. I drop any of this gear. It's far. It's far. It's boring. There's nothing there. Along the way, I should say, there's not enough. There's not nothing when we get there. There's just nothing between where we just started and where we're going to. Except maybe a handful of cattails. And because they were in that mood that day, maybe the odd pry bar. I hate the long walk. I like the maps. I like the airfield. I like the zone of contamination. And I like Sundered Pass. I just don't think it should take me an hour of my life to get there. That's, uh... Yeah. This is basically just to deplete your your lantern, your food, and your water. And then even when you get out of here, you're lucky if there's a deer. And now I have to also remember... Um, what is the way I go. Oh, I remember. I remember. I know it. I know it. Follow me. <laughs> I 
I was just exaggerating of an hour of my real life. But it does take way too long. I think the person who was working on it had it properly and Raf came in and said no. It needs to be longer. Is what I've heard. Um, and I think he shouldn't have said that. Because I do think it... Oh, hey. Hey, hey. Get away from here. I do think it's going to limit how many people actually go there. When they don't have to go there. And that's kind of one of the reasons I want to go there. I've spent so much time playing the game on the rest of the map. So I want to play out here. That wolf has a short memory, eh? He's like, hey, I, I smell something over there. <laughs> me. It's me. drop do they go into one pile no they don't so three is the biggest the stack can get hey Darth where were you I just ate a bunch of cattails What happened? You guys are having issues? this away. And we'll just keep walking. I think. It's just itching to use that. Just itching to use it, eh, Merd? Alright, no wolf around here. Is there a Twitch problem? I'm trying, I, I don't know if I missed something or something, but. Y'all can still see me, can you hear me? I don't know what's going on. Am I delayed or are you delayed? My stream health says it's excellent and it never showed that it uh, had any issue.
Stick around, Darth. It's about to happen again. <laughs> Let's do that. We already know there's nothing in... We've been through this cave several times, so... This tunnel... Oh, interesting. Stream is delayed, it went down for y'all. Well. What am I doing? Right click, dummy. Astro's getting tired. Save that. Some good wood right there. How come I can't walk and light that at the same time? I'm just twisting a knob, right? I think we should be able to walk and light it. Get the lantern riding the rails. Teetering and tottering. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. All right. There's there's a lot of things that you can't do while you're walking, though, right? Like you can't you. And walk. You can't drink and walk. But you can load your gun. That one I remember. Yeah, you've mentioned that countless times. So <laughs> these rails annoy you. But you have to understand, these rails weren't like this when everything was good that's just the way they are after look at there's a that didn't derail because of the rails did it i would think that the derailment made this happen clean your gun and walk can you do that no you can't <laughs> I had this out because I thought I heard a deer. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually come around here and looked. I think I did uh, way back when the region first came out. All right, well, let's put you... I'm not paranoid or anything, I just thought I heard a deer running, so I wanted to have that out. Uh, I don't think we need sticks, but they're here, so let's grab them. And what's... we're at 19. I don't think there's any cattails left here anyway, is there? Uh, maybe on the other side. I think I took all these ones. It's time. It's almost night time. We're gonna need more cattails. Although, I think there is meat here. I think I got a deer. I 
I do think I got a deer, so. Now, did I leave it here or did I take it back out? That is the question. Um. I don't think I took all the cattails from here. But I also have enough that I'm not going to be walking all over. It's just if I can see one from here, I'll take it. But all right. I believe we are out of cattails. Cattails should be something that respawn. Right? Shouldn't they? I think. Not not like 10 or 20 days later or so, but I think every 100 days some of that stuff should respawn. Aha! We got some meat. It's not nearly enough I can't eat it from the wheel because it's ruined all right what else do we got here um, actually you're one kilogram you're one kilogram you're a little bit uh, how many sticks do we got oh we don't we have uh, reclaimed wood Plant respawn in winter? True. I guess it is a bad idea. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. You're already putting the meat on the fire. And we got charcoal there. We got plenty of wood. Uh, we have you, but you know what we don't have? Oh, there they are. Improvised. Um, let's drop you guys. There we go. That's an hour and a half. I don't think there's any wood in here to be taken. There's some cloth. Double check. You're 29 minutes. You're 28. Well, we may as well take the cloth. And is there, is there another one? Coach said he found a bearskin bedroll in here. That's amazing. All right, well, there's no other cloth. And we'll do that. We're 429. We don't need water, but, oh, damn it. I didn't really want to make water. I just thought I'll do the water well. <laughs> hey, 29. Uh, I figured I would do the water while the meat was cooking. Can you close the door? Thank you. Are you born in a barn? And, uh, yeah, I forgot that was that tiny piece. <laughs> well, what can we do? You're at 90. Can do that. Uh, what does that put our clothing at now? Thirty-seven. Eh. I don't want to waste ptarmigan on something like this. It's at one point eight though, so it'll go up by point two. And 
and you're at 93, okay. You know, when that fire was burning, it was kind of, you know, got the nice, big, fat, fluffy snowflakes. <laughs> Ominous music. All right. Let's, uh, let's end this here, I guess. We'll just go to bed. So for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.